you guys, Tony here. Um, like the last spy, the last TA that I released on spy, I told you guys to keep a lookout because I do think we're going down to floor 43 around that level. Um, there, I, there was actually news that came out that has been affecting uh, payment of order flow, which would probably be hood um, and more than likely affect spy as a whole, maybe just CPI. It's going to be a late reaction. But keep in mind, we are looking on the hour um, to close another bearish cycle, at least for the hour. Um, it's been reacting pretty pretty darn well to every single drop in the cycle, right? Last time we started this bear cycle, you know, we went from, you know, 451 and we actually ended at 445. So, you know, keep in mind, you know, we are going to be creating another, you know, it looks like we're going to be creating another bear trigger on the hour while the stochastic is already on is already oversold and you guys already know how much stocks and crypto like to make really big moves when something is oversold or overbought and you have bear or bull triggers on the reverse macd so keep in mind keep it keep a lookout for the spy because there might be you might actually see the spy drop um under and uh, under breaking these relative lows of 444 um and, and possibly going lower to maybe 441 that 443 forecast that we had so back here, you know, I do still think that we might actually hit that 50 MA, I think, from the from the four hour. Um, and then uh, also the four hour on the daily do look like they're going to be maybe closing, up, uh, you know, bullish triggers sometime in the next day or two. But um, dependent on how big these pushes are from the bear side, from that hour cycle, um, you could completely cancel out this weak bear momentum. Oh, sorry this weak bull momentum and and create brand new bearish candles uh you know affecting it and possibly going to the lower side so the s&p 500 is, is is starting to drop a little bit more than it should and also you know tlt is starting to move it's at 150 bucks right now it's at 151 and look at that look at that that's that's key signal look at that big candle to the move 151 that is that is not a good sign for the s&p 500 um, remember what I told you guys, uh, I did a TA back on like a month or so ago, a TLT where I told you guys, if TLT closes the week or a couple of days above the $152 level, you know, expect some big moves on, on the US 10 year on the yields to drop significantly. And also for the spy to keep dropping to the downside, I'm still holding my TLT calls, but keep in mind this move on TLT is not something, um, to to not look at this is not on this is not common uh for this to happen to, to the to the to the to the 20 year treasury bonds right the bond market right now is, is is moving really hard and these moves this this what is it from 149 to 151 these two dollar moves are not normal and the fact that spike keeps dropping and tlt keeps rising is definitely not a good sign for the for the overall market in general um, so if this keeps up and we do close 152 on TLT, you know, we can possibly expect uh, an even low, even more drop droppage on the S&P 500. So keep an eye out. Things are getting very interesting right now.